In this next bonus episode, I'm going to show you how to change the standard ring engine graphic to your actual engine graphic. The process is not that difficult. I first start by taking a picture of the engine behind the whitest background I can have. In this case, I'm just using two pieces of cardboard. Then I bring the engine into paint and I start getting the purest, whitest background I can. Usually I can do this with the paint can and just clean up a couple of edges. While still in paint, I then crop the image. I get the top and bottom as close as I can to the graphic edges of the engine, but I wanna leave a little extra space on the left and right sides, and you'll see why in a little bit. Now, if you're really lucky, like I happen to be this time, you might just already find a great picture on the internet with a nice white background all ready to go, like this one. Now the graphic needs certain parameters in order to fit on the handheld, and it can be kind of tricky to get the settings just right. But I found this RailPro Bitmap Builder program on the RailPro Users Forum, and it's really handy. You just drop in the picture that you have and the bitmap builder gets it all to the right sizes and pixels that you need. You want to crop the top and the bottom as close as you can to your graphic. Leave the left and right alone. Then you want to make sure the box is checked for pad the image and then click on the bitmap. After that, save your image. Now it's time to go back to Rail Pro Assistant and you want to hook up your HC2 to your computer with the provided USB cable. In the same way I showed you how to load the sound files, now we want to load the picture file for the image we just created in Bitmap Builder. You want to go to the directory where you saved your Bitmap file and import. And on this screen, you want to add the file to your download list. You'll need your engine nearby and you'll want to turn the power on. It has to be within two feet of the handheld device. Next, you want to download the file from your computer to the handheld device. Now we need to copy the file from the handheld device to the actual LM board in the engine. Lastly, we need to select the engine and then go into the tools and select our bitmap file to replace the ring file. Don't forget to hit save at the end and we're all done. The new graphic is in place and looks great with the other graphics. And this project is finally done. We're ready to go run some trains. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks for watching.